10 secret ways the royal family is protected. Food. Of course, like many other important people, the royals are at fear of being poisoned, which means when outside of their humble abode, the royals have to avoid certain foods to stand clear of potential medical emergencies. The family avoids shellfish when they eat out so they don't run the risk of getting food poisoning. Similarly, they skip rare red meats, aka no good food. But to be fair, I've got food poisoning and it's not that fun. Tip of the day, if it's 12 a.m. and you order $5 shawarma, don't have any plans the next day. Food again. This time speaking at the royal banquets, the former royal chef revealed that when catering for the royals, a satellite kitchen would be set up at the banquet. The food would be transferred into the banquet on foot. If we were catering for a heads of state banquet, however, then all the catering staff would have to meet at a police station, get a motorcycle ride into Cardiff Castle. He explained for higher caliber banquets, we're required to put all our food container, knives, and kitchen equipment through an x-ray machine whilst motorcycles then drive us to the castle. Great, my chicken tastes like radiation, guys. Bunker. Prepare for the worst and hope for the best, right? That's why the royals have not one, but three different bunkers for if that day ever came. Elaborate plans include using a number of ferries as floating bunkers around Scotland coast, a castle bunker, the top secret hideaway, was reportedly demolished during the devastation in 1992 fire, and in 2019 it was claimed the Python scenarios were updated as part of Operation Yellowhammer plans for No Deal Brexit. I personally have my own bunker. It consists of canned food, a Rubik's Cube, two paper clips, and a drawing of three of the four Ninja Turtles. They aren't. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Plot twist. While Harry and Meghan were stepping back from their duties, they say they were advised on short notice that their security detail would be removed. Now, what that means is drama, and that's exactly what came from it. To a fair degree, stepping back from the royal family doesn't mean security threats and status just go away. Harry dealt with the passing of his mother in a security threat manner. Therefore, I can understand his major concern. Privacy. The royal family, unlike government officials, does not have to disclose non-public information and can keep whatever they'd like a secret. The late queen to a degree had an open door policy in which she was okay with sharing information, but we have seen times where major court cases from the public eye and fast. This also in return is for their staff and the staff all have NDAs that make sure they don't go putting out any information about the royal's family lifestyle when those palace doors shut. Life for a life. The royal family's protection officers will in fact risk their lives to save the royals. This may be common knowledge, but it's crazy to think someone signed up for, I'm assuming a pretty good pay, to take a bullet for the royals, and they would. This goes for many other protection services for important people, and we've seen it in action during assassination attempts where the security makes a heroic dive. Fortunately, I've never seen the Freaky Friday life swap and everyone's been safe. Travel. Every family has its traditions. The royal family is no exception, but it's no ordinary family tradition. In case you were thinking I meant something along the lines of laying in on the weekend or re-watching Friends or The Office every Friday night, their tradition is more of a protocol based around security fears. Family members of the same line are not allowed to travel in the same plane together so that just in the case of an accident, wiping the royal lineage is prevented. The tradition has only once been broken by Prince Philip when he flew to Canada in the same plane as Prince George, who will secede him one day in the future. He did however ask for the Queen's permission beforehand, but it was a risky move. Hostage. Do you know that every time the late Queen visited state openings of Parliament, the royal household is obligated to take a hostage? I know they do some wacky things, but this is just kind of weird. The rule dates back to a time when Parliament and the royals didn't get on well. To assure a safe return to the Queen, the royal household thought it was best to take a member of Parliament with them to the ceremony in case anything bad happened to the late Queen. This goes on to this day, despite the fact that the relationship between the royals and Parliament isn't so tense, but it is a precaution. The chosen MP is kept perfectly safe and taken care of throughout the ceremony. Autographs. Have you seen a member of the royal family signing autographs? You won't, because technically they're not allowed to, so if you happen to ask the Duchess for her signature, she will have to kindly decline you, because she isn't allowed to give it. This stems from the fear of a signature being forged. 
Kate is also not allowed to take selfies, but that's not restricted to Kate alone. None of the royal family members are allowed to do selfies. There's so many rules in the royal household. They also can't touch people beyond a handshake and that works the other way around. You're not allowed to touch them either. Only formal handshakes are allowed in the form of physical touching. Raven. The tale that six ravens live in the Tower of London is in fact not a myth. They actually do live there at all times. Sounds pretty strange, but there's actually some basis for it. It dates back to an era of Charles II when he required that seven ravens live in the tower. By seven, he actually meant six ravens and a spare. The request was actually spurred from a legend that once said, if the ravens leave the tower, the kingdom will fall. And so the words inspired Charles II to ensure that there were seven ravens living at the Tower of London. The tradition has been upheld. You will find seven or maybe six ravens at the Tower of London today. That's so, Raven. Thanks for watching.